hello there. Um, it's vlogging time because I'm headed to New York for Gen Beauty. And I'm freaking yeah, excited. Gonna I'm gonna finally reunite with Hello Cindy again. Um, I swear she's moved about a, almost a year ago and I've seen her three times. This is the third time I've seen her since she's moved. Saw her in LA twice, now New York, which is really funny because when she left, she sent a lot of her clients to me and there are clients that were like, I was like, um, I've seen Cindy more times than I've seen you. It's really sad. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. I'm all packed. I do a little outfit of the day. So it's just a shirt from Cotton On. Um, I have my Burberry jacket that I bought myself for my birthday. Um, my pants, my sweatpants from Uniqlo. And then my Nikes because it's gonna be a hella walkin'. Um, and then I'm actually doing Cindy's hair while we're in New York. So I have my suitcase with, you know, some of my, well, obviously my clothes, but I have color and stuff in there. And then I have my <clears throat> Louis Vuitton Keepall. Um, that has my laptop, my shoes um, for Gen Beauty, and yeah. All right, guys, so I'm officially here. Um, so I got here at like 9 a.m. Um, it was, I mean, 6 a.m. and it was so early. And then I went to go get, well, actually I got here at seven. I went to go get some coffee and then I headed over to the hotel to put my bags down. And I was like, what am I gonna do? Like, my friends aren't getting here till later. And I posted like a Facebook status saying I was in New York and one of my old managers who I'm still really good friends with said, oh my God, I'm here too um, for training. So he's letting me crash at his hotel room. But guess who else just got here? This bitch. It's Nick Dragon. It's Nick Dragon. It's Nick Dragon. That ass note. Bounce, 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 bounce. bounce. So uh, Nick just got here, and um, we're probably gonna go shopping. Nick just spent the last like hour putting on her makeup. So um, I, I, my stomach's growling, and she be over there like trying to fleek her eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Look who it is! Yeah, I just checked in. Say hi. Thank you. She's finally here. We don't even hug because we talk so much. It's like I saw you. <laughs> Usually, like the first time, like when she first moved. And we saw each other, like, we're like, oh, hi, hugs. And then now that it's like we so see weird. each other all the time. I that know. Was weird. Oh my God, you're finally here. I've been so, like, I've been, like, walking around going crazy. We're probably in the I same. I just want to crash and, like, go to sleep. It's 316. Okay, so apparently, um, all I ever do is wait on people to put their makeup on because I did that all morning with Nick and then now with this bish. She's trying to put her, her, um, fake... I'm trying to make them fucking even. <laughs> you know, see how precise this little thing is? Makeup like, problems. Hashtag yeah. makeup problems. Man, I wish I brought a coat. You didn't? An umbrella. I, I didn't know I was going to Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, So we're back at the hotel and oh, boy, um, so the whole point of us getting together was so I can do Cindy's hair and I left the powder bleach at home. I have everything. I literally brought all of the developer and color and developer for everything, but I forgot the bleach. Epic, epic fail. Even my brush is in there. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, guys. So it's the next morning. Um, my I just washed my hair and it's so like bangy in my face. Um, but it is so gloomy up here. I was so hoping for decent weather um, before the fall starts. So 
Uh, we're headed to Century 21 uh, down at Ground Zero, and then we're gonna go check out Ground Zero, um, and then do some major shopping today. We are here at Jingfong, which is an amazing dim sum place. This place is huge! Hi, Kevin. <laughs> um, and the food looks delicious. So we're about to dig in. Um, and then I think we're gonna go do a little bit more shopping. I did a little too much shopping. And all right, so we're all dressed and ready. This is uh, Cindy's outfit. Look at her shoes. Love the shoes. You wanna do my outfit? So I just got this jacket and I'm doing black pants and my black shoes. So, <laughs> so we are in the cab um, on the way to uh, Nick Dragon. We're doing Nick Dragon's hair. Um, so it'd be, it should be pretty fun. Um, and then we're headed to the VIP part. You guys see my glasses fogging up? <laughs> it's so rainy here. It's like not cute. Glasses problems. Yeah. All right, guys, look at who we're with. <laughs> Miss Nikki. Nick and Guy Tay. <laughs> And Cindy, so Cindy's doing her hair. I'm assisting um, her, and oh, you're we're. Just your right now. <laughs> okay, uh, but we're getting ready for the event, so it should be fun. I'll just set you guys down here. Resulting in a hit of applause. Yeah. For all of you, the entrepreneurs, and that's what XCOS is all about. It's, 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 it's a platform that allows you to build your own careers with no strings attached. And there really are no strings attached. We're never gonna, <laughs> we're, there's no strings. Like, we're never gonna come after you for any money or anything. We're not gonna sign you guys to a network. We're not gonna try and take money off your channel. Alright guys, so we just got back from the event. Um, Cindy's going through the bomb ass Oh my good god, enough. I mean with the black and the white. Shut up. Oh, oh my god. god. What is this? The goodie bag that we got was amazing. It's like three times as big as the LA one. Um, but I'm packing because I literally leave in three minutes and we just got back. We left the party early because I have a wedding tomorrow. So um, I'm packing in like as soon as possible. Um, so I don't know how I'm gonna get all this home because I'm only allowed to carry a certain amount of stuff. Stuff home that you don't want? Nah, it's all mine. <laughs> oh, sorry. oh, sorry. All right, guys. So I'm leaving. <laughs> Cindy is going to grab food and she's walking me out, but my I taxi was should. To. Yeah, I was she was forced to. to. I was like, you're not gonna come say bye to me. What a jerk. Um, but waiting for my ride and then heading out. This bag is so big I couldn't fit it in my luggage, so um, I have to just, I, it's ginormous. So I'm just gonna carry it and hope that they don't make me pay extra for it, but. <laughs> I just took my knee out. 